Bonjour and welcome back to Thanks I Made It. My name's Bridget and this week be prepared to be hit with Cupid's lovely arrow because it's almost Valentine's Day. And I personally love Valentine's Day because it's just an adorable holiday. I mean, you get all the pink and the glitter and the hearts, it's cute. And I like it, so we're gonna do something about it. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a little craft that you can gift to yourself or you can gift to a friend. We're gonna make some bath bombs. Not just any regular bath bombs, but cool bath bombs. They're gonna be rose hip, lavender, oatmeal. So it's a little romantic, a little soothing, a little treat for yourself or a friend. Let's get into it. For this craft, all you need is a body oil of your choice, rose hip oil, baking soda, citric acid, a little bit of water, cornstarch, Epsom salt, quick oats, a silicone mold, and as an extra option, some essential oil. Okay, mon petit cherubes. First, we're gonna put all of our dry ingredients into a bowl. So we're gonna put in a half a cup of this cit citric acid. <laughs> Uh, now I know what you're thinking, citric acid, I use that for canning tomatoes. Yes, uh, it's also used for bath bombs. It's basically just like powdered lemon juice. I did my research, it's safe on skin, so it's fine. And now we're southern, okay. Oh, this is, oh don't breathe that in, that tickles the nose. And, that's pretty good. Have a cup, nailed it. Ooh. Don't breathe it in, it burns. Cute. All right, and now we're gonna put in a cup of baking soda. This is what's gonna give our bath bomb that like fizzy quality when it goes in your bath water. Okay, and we're gonna find out if I even have a cup of baking soda and if I planned correctly. Okay, cool, there's a half cup. And now we're gonna do a third cup of cornstarch. I don't know what this is gonna do for this. Maybe keep things dry? Yeah, I don't know. But that's what the recipe on the internet told me to do, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh. Fun! Oh. I did it! And then next, we're gonna do a quarter cup of quick oats oatmeal and this is gonna have some soothing properties um you know like when you have chicken pox and they're like why don't you take an oatmeal bath it's like that but you don't have chicken pox i hope and it's more of a relaxing experience for you and then our final dry ingredient is going to be epsom salt so you can use plain epsom salt and then put lavender essential oil in the wet ingredients, but I just happened to have lavender Epsom salts, so why not? So I'm just gonna use the lavender Epsom salts and then not add any lavender essential oil because I can. And that's the reason. Fun. Here we go, if I can open this bag. Oh, it smells good. One, two, three. I also highly recommend Epsom salts. I feel like people don't use them often enough. If you have a sore body yaddy yaddy, get some of this at the CVS, put it in your bath. It'll make you right as rain. It's gonna be nice. This this is gonna be a nice bath bomb because we've got the, the Epsom salts, which is gonna like relax your muscles. And then you've got the oatmeal, which is and all the oils, which are gonna be good for your skin, and then there's like an aromatherapy thing that we're doing. It's, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. Great, now that we've got our dry ingredients in, we're gonna mix it up like this. Wow, look at it, oh, look at it. Look at it. You see it? It's good. Fix it. Oh, don't inhale, it's a lot. So I've set my bowl with all my dry ingredients aside and now I'm gonna mix in my wet ingredients in a separate bowl. Yay! 
Okay. Okay. We're gonna start off with a, what is this? A teaspoon of water. Now I'm gonna add in my body oil so I can moisturize this epidermis. It's winter and my skin is dry. Ha <laughs> ha. So the recipe called for almond oil, but I didn't have that at the store. So I'm improvising. It's gonna be grand. Uh, I've got virgin coconut oil with coconut milk and acacia. Sounds delicious. Let's add it in. So we're gonna do, if I can pick it up, three teaspoons of this body adi adi oil. Oh. Don't worry team, we got more oils to put in. Next, we're gonna add some rose hip oil. Mmm. Ooh, there we go. And we're gonna add in just a couple of drops of rose hip oil. I'm gonna hit it with three because, like I said, my skin's dry. Let's get into it. Oh. Does that count as one drop or multiple? Let's just do another. I'm just gonna do another pump. I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do it. And then at this point, if you wanted to add any extra essential oil, like say you had rose essential oil or lavender essential oil, you could add it in here at this point in the process. But I'm not gonna do that because we're already working with a lot of scents and we don't wanna overwhelm anyone, right? No, keeping it, keeping it simple. So let's mix it up. It's in my little bowl, my incredibly oversized bowl. For this, for this amount of liquids, which you can't even see. I like to over-prepare. Okay, and now comes the part where it could all go very, very wrong. <laughs> so hang in there and let's see what happens. Because we're going to put in, we're going to very slowly add in our wet mixture with our dry mixture. And I've read that if I do it too quickly, that it could activate the baking soda and just start fizzing. So, I mean, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna really, f this is a make it or break it moment here, people. All right, let's go for it. So, we're slowly adding this. I'm kind of just doing a couple drops at a time. Oh, I'm definitely getting some fizzing up on the sides. Uh. I think we're okay. It's okay. Okay, I think I've mixed a good amount. I'm gonna try and see if I can like mold it into anything. Like if it'll, mm, no. So then we're gonna spritz a little, very tiny bit of water in here to just try and like wet it so that I can mold it. Okay. gonna work. Fingers crossed everybody. So now that my mixture is complete, I'm going to start scooping my mixture and putting it into these adorable silicone molds. I went with silicone, these are cupcake molds, um, because I think it'll be easier to like turn the bath bomb, like get it out of the, the mold itself, because these need to sit for a couple hours to solidify. You can, I tried to get like heart shaped ones because Valentine's Day and it would be cute, but either everyone bought them or, um, you know, everyone's boycotting Valentine's Day to which I say, how dare you? And that's that, you know? So here we go. Here's my quarter cup scoop that I used from before. And I'm just going to start with this and just, let me lift this up here and just plop that in. And I'm going to kind of press press down and kind of pack it in to help it, just to sort of help it solidify and make sure we're getting the most out of our, out of our ingredients here, that we're getting a lot in there. Cause I would like to be soothed during this bath and I want maximum soothing sensations. <sighs> Fabulous. And then I'm just gonna clean up the edges, bam. <gasps> Ooh, great, let's do another. Okay, 
So I filled my little molds um, all the way to the brim. I've really packed them in tightly and now I'm gonna leave them for a couple hours to you know, solidify and marinate. Hello, some hours have passed, time has happened, and I'm back. And I have to say, I've touched the, the, the surface of my little bath bombs and they've really solidified. I didn't think it was gonna happen and it did. So like, that's amazing. I'm gonna pop one out, let's try it. Wow, look at I made a bath bomb. Oh, it's beautiful. There's oatmeal, there's like we know, baking soda. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, it smells amazing. I wish Smell-O-Vision existed because that's, that's delightful. So I did something maybe a little crazy and I filled up a, bo a bowl of water and we're gonna have our own like Lush experience. If you've ever been to Lush and they're like, oh, well, let me show you this product. And they like put out a metal bowl and they do stuff in it. We're gonna do that, except I'm gonna plop in this DIY bath bomb. Let's see if it works. The whole point of this craft is to see if this bath bomb works. So let's try it out. Moment of truth. I'm dropping this in the water. <gasps> oh my God, it works. <laughs> totally works. Amazing! Look at it go! Wow. 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 Oh, that really works. Ooh. And can I tell you, this feels like it's very moisturizing. It smells very relaxing. What a treat! Oh my goodness! Wow, we made something that works! Oh my god! We did it! We made a very successful bath bomb! <laughs> Good for us! Alright, bon petit cherubs! Thanks for joining me on Thanks I Made It! Make this craft! This was great and so easy! And, I don't know, gift yourself a little bit of self-care this Valentine's Day. Or gift it to a pal. A gal pal, perhaps. And celebrate my other favorite holiday, Galentine's Day. Thank you for watching. Do this craft. Take a photo. Tag us in it. Send it to me. I don't know. Send me a bath bomb? <laughs> I don't know. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And we'll see you on the next Thanks I Made It. Bye. So that was, that was not great. We're just gonna put it back in. Okay, goodbye. Keep, keep solidifying. Let's maybe try a different one. <laughs>